Welcome everybody here to our next webinar about uh, JFT Invest. Uh, my name Stefan Frodochowski, as always, for those kind of webinars. A warm welcome in the name of JFT as well. Uh, here today, 7th of uh, December, 10 o'clock, at least in uh, Germany, we have right now 10 o'clock. Today's topic, JFT Invest, trading and investing simplified. We have to talk about the highlights of the week. We have to talk about our portfolio, uh, which we have established. And uh, we went through a couple of steps and changes within the portfolio um, allocation. So we have made a good progress there as well. Um, up to now, we have earned um, before cost more than 20% within a little bit more than uh, two months. So because we have had the months change, that brings me to the next topic we have to discuss today once again here. That is uh, what kind of fees are um, connected to following trading strategies. Since we have had those, I want to touch that topic as well. Uh, and third topic, since you will see there has been a quite well performing strategy over the last couple of weeks. Um, I want to show you how to change the portfolio settings in order to jump into another strategy and to, to even um, increase the portfolio a little bit more here. But before we really start, hey, let's quickly, but only quickly, uh, have a look to uh, what is um, the JFD about. So. Uh, only uh, uh, a few seconds here to to have that once again so whenever you start at a uh, home page of jfd then if you go to investing um, then you are immediately already there and what you will see finally are the following things so you see already here five strategies uh, pre-selected by jfd those trading strategies are your chance so to say so what you see here are existing trading strategies of professional traders uh, you see mm, quite impressive results over the uh, last couple of months and we will have a close look uh, to those as well but you see the top performer uh, in general here the, that one um, yeah, achieved 60% and uh, thinks that in a little bit more than half a year or eight months uh, about. So yeah, quite well. And uh, also some others with uh, very good numbers. And we have to talk about what is meant by equity balance deviation and uh, what kind, uh, yeah, you see higher numbers here are um, a little bit related to higher profits. So there seems to be a correlation <laughs> uh, and indeed there is. But in general, JFD Invest is a trading platform for investing. That means what you see here might be within your portfolio later. There are just a few steps you have to do. You open um, an Invest file, JFD Invest profile, you open an uh, JFD Invest account. That's a special one you need uh, for following other people's strategies. So you can't trade within the account by yourself, but you can uh, select and follow uh, other people's strategies. And the good thing is that you get the leverage of a professional for that account because you follow professionals. Then you connect each other and then you select. Let's start. Let's have a look. So just what you can do always is a kind of guest exit you can do any time without any profile nothing and i want to combine that kind of information we have right now here with the other information what i meant already in introduction that was the highlights okay our highlights of the week are the strategy bip generator um within one month, uh, one week, sorry, <laughs> one week, uh, that strategy earned 1%, which is quite well. It's a funny strategy. The strategy is just trading British pound, US dollar in a special way, in a way that, um, yeah, it opens long and short positions, which is curious on the one hand, and maybe weird as well, but you might you can do those kind of strategies if you have an underlying which has a tendency for side movements. So if it's just wiggling around 
and has no strong trend behavior, then that kind of strategy is good um, even to have trades long and short simultaneously um, on one single underlying. And especially that kind of strategy, the BIP generator is yeah, looking only for that uh, forex pair on an H1 time frame. And that forex pair is really well known to don't show strong trends at all. I know that especially in the hmm, uh, history of last couple of months and even the last maybe one and a half year, we all know British Pound, um, yeah, there might be a Brexit, no Brexit, deals around, changes of deals, whatever. Okay, from time to time, they have news, but still because of those, uh, still with those news, there's no strong trend for that forex pair or british pound at all so therefore strategy is interesting even with that special character or that special characteristics and later i want to have that strategy in my portfolio as well because i still have money enough to to add that one so uh, that means i can show around how that works to have an additional strategy um allocated in your overall portfolio. But back to the platform it's, uh, itself. So we are already as a guest here. So you, you, you can get additional information around the platform here. So let's have a look for BIP generator. I will click it in a second. But in general, we have always inception date, which means the start date of the strategy, the overall return, last month's return, last month's return, and year-to-date return. So we, since we have already strategies starting last year, now we have a situation that return, year-to-date return is not still the same, but uh, that's fine. Equity balance deviation is last information you have already on the top page here, uh, and that's an important one as well. It has to do with drawdown, but not only drawdown itself, it's a little bit more. If you have trading strategies which open lots of um, trades, those trades might be in the minus. Or better to say you have floating losses. Maybe you have floating uh, profits, but... Um, in most cases, you have floating losses. And those floating losses have to be taken into account in the consideration of drawdown as well, because they are important. Uh, think about your normal trading activity. Um, those are the ones which uh, make you nervous or may make you even not sleep well anymore <laughs> on the extreme side. So floating losses belong to trading as well. On the one hand. On the other hand, we have to be that transparent here at JFT with our strategy to show those numbers as well, because they are important for the procedure of selection of strategies. We know all that those moments with high floating losses might um, create problems. But if we know those, in advance and that we can take those info, this information into account as well for uh, what we do here and if, when we create our overall portfolio then we are again within the game because then it's a good information because we can set up the portfolio in a way that even an equity balance deviation of um, close to 40 percent like the second strategy here fx global does not hurt us if that strategy is within the portfolio not the only one so the, the, the all in so to say in one no then we can even live with that one and we, i will show you i have the fx global within my portfolio here we have an um, equity balance deviation of 40 percent or close to 40 and later you will see that my portfolio has had an equity balance deviation of just um, around eight but now back to BIP generator. BIP generator um, was a pop performer of last week. And that's a long-term statistics. Okay, what do you see? We see uh, from time to time, we have very good increases as uh, right now over the last about one month. But then we have even 
from time to time, we have those drawdowns here within the strategy. Okay, good to know that. On the other hand, if you look in the details of how the strategy is trading, you will see, okay, a strategy works with rebuys as well. But, so rebuys, hmm, that might ring a bell. Um, isn't that dangerous? Yes. But the good thing is, if you tame that, then you are on the right side. Because if you still have stop losses, even doing rebuys, um, then you have a tamed variant of that approach. And that's good. And you can even see that by, by those steps down uh, here in the growth, because there we have real stop losses. Nevertheless, we have rebuys. So strategy is protected internally already, which is good. Let's have a look to equity balance deviation here as well. And then you can see, okay, um, highest not to now was 6.5%, which I think is uh, pretty well. So um, I'm, uh, yeah, with that number, I can definitely sleep quite well. Let's have a look to the returns over time because um, that gives you a little bit of yeah, what I call the volatility of a strategy. And you see, even that looks well, so no question. We can go for that later. And I want to add that strategy into my overall portfolio. Just as you have a, a feeling of, of what, how does it look for other strategies, let's have a close look to um, JFD Invest Galileo because that is an absolutely top performer we have here right now. So um, starting in February, um, now we have December. Okay, that's uh, close to one year, uh, three quarter at least. So we have a growth of 60%, which is outstanding, no question. And let's have a look to uh, the equity balance deviation here as well. So maximum number was 17%, um, which is okay. But it's always a decision of you. So you have to think about what what is the highest number I want um yeah, uh, to allow, and uh, yeah, then you say uh, that strategy I like or not. So, in general, of course, we we have a tendency of uh, the higher the return, the higher uh, are the drawdowns. Um, that's not one to one correct for all the strategies. We have uh, let's call it an outlier here for that as well, and that is you a dream. Uh, really nice strategy with an equity balance deviation of just a, a little bit more than a percent and still having a growth of 14 percent so quite well so it's a quite stable strategy and um, for me a must in my portfolio but uh, it's up to you it's really your preferences um, they they uh, fix the criteria um, how you select and how you do the process but Let's go for that. Um, so you know that from time to time I show my portfolio here because I have a private portfolio here as well. And what I'm doing is right now, I think I follow four strategies and um, we can look to that account as well. So what I do here is now I look to that portfolio account. That portfolio account is shown here similar to, to uh, single trading accounts. And what you can see is a return is reaching already 21%. And you see here, okay, I have a growth of 1,700 up to now. You may think, whoops, 20% uh, that those two numbers doesn't fit together uh, because this year uh, the, the growth in euro seemed to be only 17 percent what's the difference yeah the difference are fees uh, as you may later see once again that uh, there are fees um, connected to those strategies but they are high watermark that's a good thing so the fee itself is 25 percent of uh, the profits which may sound high, but on the other hand, since it's high watermark, that means that only if you reach new highs, then 
we have to pay fees. In my case, yes, and that's the drawdown here. <laughs> oh, that's part of the drawdown to, uh, here in my uh, balance of uh, my, my JFD Invest account uh, is just fees. Fair enough. I mean, I still say, why not paying fees if I have that kind of growth? Um, still, I have about 17% uh, growth was in a little bit more than two months. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite a good number. So why not paying fees for that? Uh, and those, of course, are included in that uh, green line here. Um, we later may even have a more close look to that. But now I mentioned, hmm, no, let's first have a review of uh, allocation, allocation settings here. <coughs> Sorry. Right now, we are following uh, five strategies, FX Global, um, Balance, Power FX, Gold Mine, and Euro Dream. So those five strategies are already in my portfolio. Um, still, I would like to go for the first one, uh, the absolutely top performer, uh, the Galileo. Um, but you see my problem. <laughs> my problem is the following. Uh, let's uh, um, be transparent on that as well, because uh, if I go to F Galileo and go to the details, then you can see and realize, oops, there's a, uh, there's a minimum investment sum of uh, 5K. So I need 5,000 euros left in my portfolio that I can invest into that strategy. Um, I, up to now, within my portfolio, I don't have 5,000 euros euros left so i can do the following possibilities i mean i could just increase my uh, number by putting in fresh money uh, that's one or i step out of other trading strategies that would be fine and fair as well uh, until i have those 5k or and that's a good thing that you have those kind of webinars <clears throat> i know that there is an ongoing dis discussion between um the guy who is doing exactly that strategy and um, to say what is the real minimum investment sum. And there's a discussion to, to, to lower that number. But if that's done, it's easier to jump into the strategy. But what I want to do here now is I want to jump into the BIP generator. <coughs> um, so up to now, it has earned 11%. And yeah, so why not I go for that? Um, so that you do simply by pressing the follow button. And here I would like to go uh, 1000K uh, for that strategy. And you see what's really simple. That's the, um, the money allocation. So that is the, the amount of money I invest in that special strategy. And then what you can do is you can apply what's called a risk management as well. Let's do it. And I will uh, explain you the rules. Uh, what you're doing here is you, you say, okay, for a certain strategy, for a single certain strategy you want to follow, then you you set up a limit of maximum drawdown. That's what's meant with um, worst level here. So it starts at 10% uh, and you can have that number up to 100. So let's, let's play around with those numbers. What does it mean 100? It would simply mean, okay, I invest 1,000. So if there's a drawdown of 1,000, then I step out. Anyhow, I would step out. So that's the 100%. And later you will see, I will go for that number, but I will explain. Uh, and if that number would be 20%, it would mean, okay, 20% of 1K is 200 euros. Whenever that strategy is doing a 200 euro drawdown, all trades of that strategy will be closed and strategy will not be followed anymore. That's good. I mean, that's your decision. That's how you can uh, say that kind of risk I want to have. Uh, I go for holiday. I don't want to have, a to have a close look every day on my strategy. No, I want to sleep well. Then you, you set up exactly those limits. Then your, your risk, your money on risk is absolutely limited and everything is under control. On the other hand, I mentioned that I will go for the 100. Hmm. I have a portfolio here. I have a portfolio with now nearly 12K euro. And I go into that strategy with 1K. Okay. So 
the worst case scenario is uh, that 1k would be lost if, if something goes wrong totally. From my initial investment sum, which has been 10k, it would be 10%. And that's the reason why I say, okay, for the portfolio, it's just 10%. I can live with that. So I go for that. That's the reason. And you see, and again, we have a performance fee of 25%, uh, um, but high watermark. So if you have questions on that, I can follow uh, up on that as well. And I want really to start investing. So that is done, and that's a process how you do all the time um, any changes. The same step would be done um, to, to change allocations. Uh, so if you go here and you want any actions you want to not follow anymore, uh, yeah, stop allocation, edit allocation, you see what you can do. Um, you can do all the steps and change those settings. In my introduction, I mentioned, let's have a look to my portfolio as well. And the good thing is, on the right upper corner here, you can always go for view performance analysis. And if I press that, um, I get a view on my account in a 100% similar way um, than to all the invest accounts, also uh, the strategy accounts. Those master accounts of strategies we want to follow or we, we, we might follow. And... Um, and now I get the confirmation that I, uh, I'm i following the uh, BIP generator. So that uh, always pops up um, one or two minutes later, as in this case. And now I have a problem here. You see, it uh, doesn't uh, open up already my, my, um, my account. Let's uh, have a second try. Hopefully, now it works well. So now you, you have an analysis of your account in the same way. We have your monthly return table. You can look to the traded instruments. Uh, you can even see what trades are open as we speak. So you see those. You see we follow a couple of trades of Goldmine, PowerFX, and there are more uh, we might review or look into as well. But I mentioned that we should have a look to my equity balance deviation or drawdown scenario of my portfolio as well, because it's interesting. Uh, and of course it is. Here we have a portfolio. A portfolio always has one a big advantage over any other uh, trading account because it's balanced. And if you have a balanced portfolio, then your drawdowns of an individual strategy is not one-to-one -one into your overall portfolio. And that's what you see here. My equity balance deviation over time, since about two, up to three months now, uh, it will be Christmas for those three months, uh, my maximum number has been 8%. So even the one of the single strategies with 38% 30, translate in my portfolio just to a number of eight. Hey, that's good. That's how you should set up portfolios. You need diversification, you need the right allocation of single strategies, and then you have exactly what you want. That's what I did here um, with my allocation. Now we have added one more, but it, yeah, I think it really looks well. So the overall performance achieved within uh, two and a half months um, is clearly something, uh, yeah. I like. Uh, so earning the amount of money within um, two and a half mon months, uh, which have been net 1,700 uh, and gross it have been 21%. But anyhow, uh, I can live with that fee because uh, yeah, to have 17% net gross here, that's a good number. So that are the steps. I think we touched a couple of things here today, um, meaning that we have been looking to, to the platform as well uh, um, at all and um, how to jump into a new strategy step by step, how to allocate the money, allocate the risk. And then we, we reviewed a little bit more, uh, might 
trading portfolio. And I think that is a good example how you might use a JFD Invest by your own as well. So that's from now. Have a good day. Enjoy the weekend. And if you have any questions, just send me an email as shown here. Or uh, you just uh, send an email or call JFD directly. So support at jfdbrokers.com works well as well. So anyhow, uh, we will help you for any further steps. That's for now. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.